put your thinking caps on because we've got five crazy, cool, epic, awesome, funny, weird, wild, unexpected, true <gasps> myths about the human brain. Number five, we only use 10% of our brains, right? Wrong! Your whole brain might not be active all the time, but if you do things like eating or sleeping, well, you're gonna need the whole thing. This myth has stuck around thanks to TV shows and movies about unlocking the unused parts of your brain, usually to become a super genius or get extra senses. But the truth is a little more complicated. Thanks to the modern marvel of brain imaging, we're able to take pictures of the brain in action. Using these techniques, we can see our brains working while we sleep and almost the entire brain is in use. So you'd be more accurate to say that we don't use all of our brain all the time. The myth has persisted likely because of how attractive the idea is. Imagine what it would be like to unlock the rest of your brain and become a super intelligent superhero. Or super villain. No, why? You are the chosen one. Number four, you're either right brain or left brain. That one's wrong too. In case you didn't know, your brain has two sides, the left brain and the right brain. It's thought that the left side is in charge of the things like language, math, and analysis, while the right side controls more creative functions like arts, imagination, creativity, and feelings. Because of this, many people like to describe themselves as one or the other, but in reality, everything you do uses both sides of your brain. In fact, there's no evidence whatsoever that the right half is more creative and the left is more analytical. Yep, and we know this because of a surgery called hemispherectomies, where one half of a person's brain is removed. Many patients who've had the surgery report no changes in their behavior. So if a mad scientist steals half of your brain, ah, don't worry, you'll be just as good, or bad, at math and art as before. Number three, listening to classical music makes you smarter. This one sounds fancy, but it's false. Listening to classical music as a grown-up, a baby, or even in your mom's stomach doesn't do anything for your IQ. A review of 40 academic studies showed that none could prove that listening to classical music had any lasting effect on intelligence. So while listening to classical music as a kid doesn't make you smarter, it might make you the coolest kid in the cult. Myth number two, a younger brain is better than an older one. So when you're over the hill, it's all downhill, right? Well, no. It is true that some brain skills start to decline as you get older. For instance, kids are much better at memorization, telling the difference between objects, and learning new languages than their older counterparts. But plenty of mental skills actually improve with age. Your vocabulary gets better as you get older, as does your ability to judge character. And older brains score higher on tests of social wisdom, like settling conflicts. They're also much better at controlling their emotions. So the next time your little brother Jesse throws a temper tantrum, just wait it out for the next 60 years or so. And finally, our number one debunked myth about the human brain. A bigger brain isn't always a better brain. Think about it. Humans are the smartest animals on the planet, but an elephant's brain is three times larger, and a sperm whale drive five times larger. So size isn't what makes the difference. It is true that the human brain got bigger as we evolved, but the real secret to our intelligence is how complex our brains are. Neuroscientist Christoph Koch called the human brain the most complex object in the known universe. Which is quite an honor since the known universe is pretty, pretty, pretty big. The human brain contains over 100 billion neurons, and each neuron is capable of making tens of thousands of connections with other neurons. Together, these neurons form a network of internet-like complexity inside each and every brain. So it's like my own private internet inside my brain? Which means there's got to be tons of video games, cat videos, and memes just floating around in there. Oh look, it's Advice Dog. Advice Dog, you so silly. Well, there you go. We've debunked five myths about how your brain works. What's your favorite myth that everyone thinks is true, but totally isn't? Let us know by commenting below, and make sure to check out five facts about the smartest animals on the planet if you're craving more knowledge. And of course, remember to subscribe to DreamWorks TV for new videos every day. I'm your host, and I'm gonna go listen to some classical music. Maybe it doesn't make you smarter, but it sure makes you seem smarter. Ooh, maybe I'll talk in a British accent, too. Hey, governor, Charlie, uh, no, no. Thank <laughs> you.